Hello, welcome to another week of Pick 3 DST, where I give you three defenses I like and one defense I think you should stay away from. I'll be doing this every week, so please make sure to subscribe to the channel. You can get this and all of our other content at rotoballer.com. Um, also go to rotoballer.com or check the link below if you want my full weekly rankings. Also, comment below, let me know what defense you're planning to rock with in week three. For me, my stud option right now is the Carolina Panthers. Uh, I'm shocked that they're this high, but I have them as my number two defense this week. They're first in the league in pressure rate, first in the league in sacks, first in the league in QB hurries. The off-season additions that they made have been really helpful for them. The young players they have have improved, um, and I think that this defense is for real. I think they'll be a fringe top 10 defense for much of the year, but this matchup this week is a great matchup, and I think you can fire them up with confidence. My solid option this week is the Pittsburgh Steelers. A lot of people have them a little bit lower. I have them fourth this week. I know that the last week against the Raiders wasn't a phenomenal performance, but they really showed out against the Bills in week one. I think this is a very solid defense. Um, and the Cincinnati offensive line is still a little bit of a mess. Lots of pressure on Joe Burrow. So I expect the Steelers to be able to get after him a lot this week. Uh, my sleeper defense is the Las Vegas Raiders. Uh, I'm shocked they're this high, but Gus Bradley, their new defensive coordinator, has been a great defensive coordinator in the past. The Raiders are eighth in the NFL in pressure rate, 10th in sacks, and 12th in yards allowed per play. They also get Miami without Tua Tagovailoa. Jacoby Brissett held the ball a lot last week, and that offensive line has also been struggling, so I really expect the Raiders to be able to get a lot of pressure on them, which will force some turnovers. And my stay away defense is the Green Bay Packers. I see some people ranking them inside the top 10. I have them down at 15. I did not like that performance against the Detroit Lions. Jared Goff had all day to throw. He's just not a very good quarterback, so he couldn't make the most of it. Packers don't get a lot of pass rush, and outside of Jair Alexander, I just don't really like that secondary. So even though the 49ers have lots of trouble at running back, and Jimmy Garoppolo is an average quarterback at best, I just don't have any confidence in firing up the Packers this week. Uh, once again, comment below, let me know what defense you're rolling with in week three. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get this video and all of our other content at rotoballer.com throughout the rest of the NFL season.